if you look at, you know, like uh, the late night, so-called late night comedy shows in the United States, uh, people are just being, the audience is, is not there to laugh. It's there to just applaud itself for holding the correct attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Norm MacDonald, uh, one of my uh, Canadian compatriots who passed away recently, had said he was fantastic. Mm -hmm. He had said in an interview not long before he died that the biggest problem with modern comedians is that they chase applause and not the laughs. Yeah. And, and it's easy. I mean, you can just say the right thing and the audience will clap, but you've not actually engaged in anything creative, you've not said anything funny, you've not yeah, yeah. challenged anything. And that, that's the other thing, the idea that comedy, comedy, which used to be the way you could get away with challenging authority, and, and Bill Maher was always insufferable with this, because every time he stepped a little bit too far, he'd be like, oh, I'm just a comedian. Yeah. But now that doesn't help you. You, you, yeah, can't, yeah. you can't say I'm just a comedian, because then you get uh, executed perhaps a few minutes earlier. Uh, you know, there was in, in Canada not long ago a, a Supreme Court case where this Quebec comedian's jokes ended up being litigated for years yes, all the way yeah. up to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court uh, ruled in his favor, which was not a victory because it was a 5-4 decision. Right. So one judge stood in the way of, do you have a right to tell offensive jokes? And, and it, was in, it was horrible how no one got the point because mm. instead of talking about free speech, people said, well, that joke was a little mean. And it, that, that, but yeah, that's yeah. the point. And, and, and you have to be prepared to defend undesirable speech. And you have to be prepared to defend undesirable people. And you have to be prepared to, find, uh, to defend jokes that you don't find funny, jokes that are offensive, because uh, it will be the most benign jokes that you think are inoffensive that will be censored next if you don't understand what is actually at stake there. Yeah. Well, you, you, en you end up in a world with uh, no jokes what 